Yes, Pete, in particular at the rowing with a heart-stopping performance from our women's pair. Kate Hornsey and Sarah Tate came from behind to take the silver, while the host nation claimed its first gold medal of the Games. Silver around their necks, but it felt like gold. Kate Hornsey won half of the women's pair. A kiss from boyfriend Blair Hasforth. Sensational result. And she was smothered in hugs from family and friends. I was screaming at Sarah. <laughs> Kate's rowing partner, Sarah Tate. Her three-year-old daughter, Layla, one of the first to congratulate her medal-winning mum. I bought her a medal filled with chocolate, so I think she's a little bit disappointed this one doesn't taste so chocolatey better. 500 metres to go with Australia fourth, it looked like a lost cause. But Kate and Sarah weren't finished. The Aussies beaten by Great Britain, with William and Harry cheering on the country's first goal. We thought you were out of it. Yeah, we did too. <laughs> Sarah is one of three mothers on the rowing team. Four weeks ago, she had ligament surgery on her arm. They thought they'd be lucky to get bronze, but they persevered and grabbed a silver. Kate and Sarah, two seasoned rowers in a sport where experience counts for everything. An Ashes-like final with the Brits' generous winners. The Australians were absolutely awesome. They've had a brilliant competition. The silver, a hopeful sign of more rowing medals from Kim Crow and four-time Olympian Drew Ginn. Well done. They're really heavy and really big and I love it. <laughs> Mark joins us from the Thames. Mark, so much silver and so far only one goal, but today it could be different. Yeah, it could be uh, different, Ken. At Eton Dorney today, the final of the uh, lightweight men's four, Australia represented there. We are world champions, but we are up against a resurgent Great Britain. Also in the finals, the Australian women's eight, the so-called Motley crew who qualified just in the nick of time. And uh, just back briefly to our silver medal-winning mum, Sarah Tate, she said giving uh, birth was easy compared to the hurt she suffered during that race. Extraordinary, Ken. Yes, Mark, it's, it's a nice analogy.